What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Doris. Come back. I'm going to talk about the second big change I made to my overland slash car camping slash crap in the back of my truck. Come back. <laughs> What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Okay, so this is number two big change of gear that's in the back of my truck for camping this year for 2023. Um, made this decision throughout the year that I wanted to change certain items up and get it a little more compact shall I'll say I'm trying to downsize the footprint of everything that's in my truck because at some point if I downsize vehicles or get something more off-road capable it may be smaller in stature not as big as the Titan the only thing I would ever run across that there would be a problem hauling would be the gazelle tent uh, you probably saw the little video that came out um, it just barely fits but it is. It, it goes from one end to the other of the bed with the tailgate shut. So, it may have to go up on a rack or something in the next vehicle. But, for now, the truck's not changing for the foreseeable future. But I still wanted to downsize what was in the bed of the truck. And the reason for being is because I want all camping gear to be in the bed of the truck. Sleeping bag, everything Cot, the extra cot that I may have to carry for whether it be Chloe or Chase or somebody else staying with me. Uh, it may be another sleeping bag. So I want all the sleeping bags, stuff like that, in the bed of the truck, food and clothes in the cab of the truck. There's two reasons why I want the food and clothing in the front of the truck or the cab of the truck is because it can be shut off and pretty well sealed up. So all your smellables and stuff, when I go into bear country, such as Daniel Boone, such as the Smokies, and once we go further out west and start getting out there, that kind of stuff is already put away and it's not a habit of putting any of that in the bed of the truck. So, with that said, I've downsized some things, I've changed some things, and I started a different solution for all of that. So the first thing I did was went with the Wolfpack by Front Runner Vehicle Outfitters. I went with this tub. It's a hard impact resistant plastic. It's very, very strong and sturdy. As you can see, it has all kinds of, uh, and the cool part is it has all kinds of anchor spots and that kind of stuff. And if I was to buy another one of these, they would stack. So, at some point, I may even uh, downsize my other box I have in there and narrow down some of the gear that's in it that I don't use. Uh, I know there's a lot of things you need just in case, and I will keep some just in cases, but there's stuff in that thing I do not use and have not used since I've been camping the last three years. But I love these things. This size right here is 30 bucks. I'll leave the dimensions right here right now. But it's $30 on Amazon or Front Runner if you go to their website and were to buy one. Sometimes you can catch them on sale. There's a little bit larger one for 50 bucks, and I may go with it for the truck gear that I keep in the back of the truck. Um, but I really like these things. I like the lid. Let me grab it real quick. There's the lid. It's flat. It's also, if you'll see how it, it's done, it's made so another one of these can sit right on top of it and it latches down. They do have an extended lid that sticks up about, I think it's three or four inches. I'll note that right now, how much higher it gets. But it allows you to build, you know, more of a bigger setup in your box. But with what I'm switching to that's not going to matter either anymore so let's move the camera over here to the workbench because I got everything that's in that tub right now 
lay down on the workbench. Okay, so one of the things I've used for the last two years and I've loved it because I always make instant coffee or hot chocolate. I never make brewed coffee. Now, if I was to make brewed coffee, I would get probably get the little MSR uh, drip system. I'll put a picture of that up right now. Uh, if I was to go with that kind of type of coffee, but for right now camping, I use the coffee tea bag looking things from Folgers, or I'll use the instant uh, Nasty's Choice or some of that stuff. But for the most part, I use the tea bag style coffee. Thanks to Max over at Hike Camp, because he's the one that put me on that. But for that reason, this is the coffee pot that I make water in. Um, have probably for the last three or four years. You can see the bottom of it. It has gotten kind of hot, but that's on different um, cooks or different uh, stoves. The fuel one doesn't do it to it, and neither does the um, um, Ozark Trails is what I'm trying to say. Now, what I like about it is when I'm done with it, it collapses down to that. I wish the handle would do something different, but it, it does what it does and it works great i have not noticed now the only thing i did will say is i got the top really hot for some reason or somehow i can't remember how i did that but it is kind of warped a little bit but the rest of it has held its shape with no problem so with the fact that i've got this now my biggest problem was carrying a big pot so i went with I don't know what's going to collapse. This for my big pot. It is collapsible. This is GSI Outdoors collapsible pot. As you can see, it folds down to that. Now, that's not much bigger than my plates that I have, but I love the top, how it latches on and has streamer and steam hole. So this is great if you want to make noodles or something like that. My biggest thing was having a big enough pot to boil water to wash dishes with, too. So, I picked this out. This was kind of a, this was actually an anniversary gift. This one was either anniversary or Christmas. I can't remember what this year. But this is one of the ones I wanted. I like how the top latches down and is closed. Has a nice little ring top. And it's collapsible. So, it takes up a lot less room than the old big pot that I used to carry. The next thing I did, next thing I changed, now I do have these pot, two pots here. I kind of use this one as a cooking pot also, if I'm cooking something small. Number one, Teflon coated. This is a, um, ooh, if I can still see it. This one is a Burton, Burton cook pot. Burton stoves, Burton compasses, and stuff like that. If you know that name, you know what I'm talking about. This is the handle for that. Now, I'll use this to cook a chili or something like that in, but I normally don't do a lot of that. I think I've done it once in the last year and a half so far. But the biggest problem I had was my old Teflon skillet. I had one of the Walmart specials. Teflon was coming off. It was really starting to get bad. And I said, it's time to x it and move on. This one is a much thicker, heavier. I have washed it. This is the GSI. I will leave links to, well, I'll just leave the Amazon link for all my uh, camp gear. This will be on it. But it's a collapsible handle, but you can tell how much thicker and how much stouter this pan is than the Walmart one that I had. Now I used that Walmart one probably for a good three years. I do still have my cast iron and I will use it from time to time. I keep it in a bag in my truck so it'll always be with me. So if I decide I want to cook on cast iron, I'll do it. Once again, some of the other things I did was the collapsible wash basins, as you see over here. Now I've been using those these guys for well over a year now um, but I like how they collapse down and you can wash your dishes in it but look how thin they store down 
Um, I really like that whole setup. The other thing, I keep all of my utensils, cooking utensils, in this Fox Light Gear bag right here. It's an extra large, long bag. Um, I'll leave a link to the Etsy store for them because that is on Etsy. That's on Amazon. And I keep, probably keep way too many forks and spoons, but you can always use extras to stir up stuff without having to dirty up your big one or use the one you're going to be eating with to stir. The other thing, now this is part, I know this one's the original Sea to Summit plate that I have used for, I've been using this thing for several years now. Uh, the best thing I like about it is this honeycomb shape that's on the bottom of it. So if you have really hot stuff on it, it disperses the heat so it doesn't burn your hand when you're sitting there holding it. Of course, if it's 30 degrees outside, it actually feels pretty good. It, um, but you'll see those. I have four of those now, so that way if I have extra people hanging out and want to eat with me, they can. Um, but I just bought two of the blue and I got another orange, so I've got a pair of orange ones. This is another thing I kept in the kit from my old stuff is a metal plate. Never know when I'm going to need it. If I'm bringing food off of something and need it somewhere to rest, I like that fact of doing it with that metal plate. I also have this when I take my oven with me. I have this as a cooking, this is a uh, baking dish basically. It's a really thick, heavy pan and makes a great baking dish. What I will do to keep from having to wash it up too much or do much cleaning is I always wrap it with nonstick aluminum foil. I love this stuff. I cook with this stuff at home all the time. Um, the other things I changed up is I did get some of the collapsibles, the spatula and the tongs. These just, see if I can do it while on camera, they just fold up like so and store away. And they stow away in my little pouch real easily. I have no problems with them in that pouch. Um, now, the one thing I kept in this set is my Stanley cups. So that way, if somebody's with me and they want some hot chocolate or something, these things are perfect because they're insulated. So they won't burn their hands and the drink stays warm. Also, I have my own coffee cup. This one Chloe gave me for Christmas one year or Father's Day. So this one stays in the pack and will always be in my, what I call my chuck box. So that's it. That's everything that's in it. The only other thing I did add is one of the small shakers. I use this for scrambled eggs. Drop the eggs in there. That's pretty loud. And scramble them. I love this thing. Uh, weekends, a lot of times when I'm scrambling Chloe an egg, I'll grab one of these out of the cabinet. That's how I scrambled eggs. So that's it. The only major things that changed was the pot. Yeah, the pot, the cook pot and the skillet. The rest of this stuff has been with me for quite some time now and has been being used and I've had no problems. This is the other two things that have switched. Eventually I will get the spoon that goes with this and I will get rid of that spoon. So that's it for now. I um, appreciate you watching. That's probably kind of a long video but I wanted to show what I had changed with my chuck box for 2023 and going forward, this is what's going to be in it. This is it. This, this stuff works and works for me the way I want it. All right, guys, be prepared. See you on the next one.